Welcome to Fit to Love Movement Mondays, all about exercise, all about movement, all about you. Enjoy the show. Today's show brought to you by Fit to Love, how to get physically, emotionally, and spiritually fit to attract the love of your life. Get your copy today. Today's show, why walking, biking, and running is not doing legs. This is mostly for my advanced exercisers out there, those of you that have been committed, you've been doing a program for a while, and whether it be a man or a woman, and you don't focus on doing resistance training for your legs because you think you're getting it in your cardio that you're not. Especially as we get older, we lose muscle in our legs and all over our bodies, and our muscles help to absorb the forces that our bodies have and go through in motion and in exercise. So if you're a runner or a biker or a walker and you've been doing this for a long time and you're starting to feel your knees and you're starting to feel your hips in a different way, it's because you've lost muscle in those main leg muscles, your quadriceps, your hips, your glutes, your calves, your abductors, your adductors. You've lost some strength there because you don't get it in cardio. Cardiovascular work is low level resistance with high in, high duration. So we talked about that on a future on a show in the past about heart rate monitor training and why you want to use a heart rate monitor. So when you're using a heart rate monitor, it's mostly to burn calories and to get yourself into a target heart rate zone that's hard enough for you to burn calories at a really good level and to increase your cardiovascular capabilities but if you're doing something like walking for a long time or let's just say you're a beginner you're a beginner watching this and you want to know about this you probably will be building a little bit of muscle when you start walking and a little bit of muscle when you start running and a little bit of muscle when you start biking but after that first four to six to eight weeks you have not you're not gonna build anymore unless you're taking a spin class or you're climbing you're mountain biking up hills that's different but I'm talking about steady state training that's anywhere from 15 to 30 to 45 minutes. Just because you're doing that does not mean you're building muscle in your legs. Two different energy systems. So please, if you're doing your cardiovascular work and you feel like you're getting a lot of exercise for your legs, you are, but you're not building muscle in your legs. We still need to build the muscle, again, to protect your joints, to absorb the forces that your body goes through, to increase your metabolism. Your legs are the fastest way to increase your metabolism when you do resistance training. So please, Please put back in your resistance training. Keep doing your cardio, but add in some resistance training to protect your joints and increase your metabolism. The Fit to Love podcast show offers you six days a week of helpful content to achieve the happy life you deserve. Movement Mondays and Tasty Tuesdays are weekly video casts, while Wellness Wednesdays, Thoughtful Thursdays, Freedom Fridays and Sexy Saturdays are audio-only shows themed every week to address your holistic life and needs. If the show inspired you, we would love for you to share it and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining us today. Head on over to fittolove.tv for recaps of every show, resources, and to join the community. That's F-I-T, the number two, L-O-V-E dot TV. Have a fit and fabulous day.